We wanted to tell you guys what we thought of Carvana. Nissan Leaf, love this thing. Great car. Why are we selling it? It's only got, what is that? 99.78, not even 10,000 miles. 2022 Nissan Leaf SL Plus. I apologize for my garage, I gotta clean it. Gotta organize it. I gotta get that chaos to clarity lady to whip me into shape. All right, so here she is. Love this thing. Bought it like six months ago, something like that. We're selling this bad boy because from my research, the economy is gonna go into a really bad spot. So we're selling this to Carvana. They are offering $2,000 under MSRP right now. So this thing books at basically like 37,000 retail. They're offering us 35,000. So we're gonna pay our loan off, walk away with like 11 grand, which is the down payment that we put down. So we're in a sense breaking even. We probably put $2,000 of equity into it just from our payments over the last six months or whatever. I feel like this same car in six months, three months, not very long from now is going to be much cheaper. We're probably gonna be patient, see what the market brings us. We wanted to tell you guys what we thought of Carvana. So far, I will say Carvana has been super simple. They won't negotiate, so they would not budge on their offer. I went back and forth with them. They said, no, we don't negotiate. We do research, market analysis, and then we give you an offer, and that's our best offer, and you're not getting any better, which is fine, because after doing more research, Vroom came in at 30,000, 31 for a local car buyer, and then 35 for Carvana. So I'm getting zero hits right now on my ads for Facebook Marketplace, Car Gurus I have it listed on. I didn't put it on Auto Trader because I already had a pretty fair offer from Carvana. But yeah, Carvana surprised me. They are overpaying for cars. So if you got a car that you need to get out of, <laughs> Carvana might be the one. Stay tuned. We'll let you know how the Carvana process goes. Like I said, so far, so good. We basically got the offer. We hit accept, moved on to, let's see, uploading a driver's license and uploading the odometer picture. So you had a proof of ownership type stuff. They took a day or two to verify that. And then once that was verified, they sent me a message, both text and email saying that your documents have been approved, set up a schedule for pickup or to drop off. So I went onto the website. I chose to drop it off because it was $75 for for them to come to my house and pick it up. So I'm driving it, saving 75 bucks. The other thing I'm doing is I have a charger that came with the Leaf. We never used it. We always had it in the trunk. Those weather mats, all-purpose weather mats, first aid kit and a roadside kit, I'm taking all of that out. So I'm giving the car with the stock floor mats, not the all-weather mats, to Carvana. If they say anything, then I'll give, I'll throw in the other stuff. But I didn't disclose that I had a charger. It's a level one and two charger that came with the car. I'm just going to sell those on the side on like eBay. Make a few hundred extra dollars just on the accessories that we paid for. Oh, look at these guys. Where are you going? I want to walk. Little walk. Walking the dog. What a good kid. I might I keep you. Idea. What if I load my bike with the dog? Uh, he'd probably wipe you out. Oh, yeah. Maybe when he's older and he's like better at it. But yeah. He's kind of spasm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Love you guys. All right, y'all. Last drive in the in the leaf. There's the back seat I was trying to show desperately last night in the dark. A little bummed. Getting rid of the old cool car. I love this thing. I'm not braking right now. One thing I'm gonna miss about this car is there's this thing called the e-pedal on the Nissan Leaf that is basically like one pedal driving. So you don't ever really have to use the brake, which is amazing. You let off the gas and it starts stopping. The only time you really use the brake is if you didn't let off soon enough and you got to make a turn or, you know, you're coming up to a stoplight too fast, then you just apply the brake. The other thing I'm going to miss probably even more than that is no gas, like going to the gas station. I don't miss that at all. We spend about $90 a month to charge this. So over the last five or six months that we've owned the car, we average about $90 of electricity. Not gonna miss sitting in, you know, all that time wasted sitting in gas lines. Other things that I like about this car is when you take the e-pedal off and you don't have the eco mode on, uh, this thing gets up and moves. It's got like 215 horsepower in an electric car. I mean, that doesn't sound like a much, but it is a lot because it's like instant power to the wheels. The transfer of power in an electric car versus a gas car is like night and day different. The other thing I'm going to miss about this bad boy is driving on the road on this thing is it's very, very quiet. Okay, so I'm sure Josh has filled you in on our little Carvana adventure. I just got here to meet Josh. There's no one in the building, so that's pretty crazy. I just saw like three police officers roll by. Like, what's the deal with that? Wait, can you see it? Anyways, crazy. All right, so my hotness just showed up. We gotta unload the leaf. Now, I'm a little surprised 
It's about 8.40. Sorry, it's a little loud here. This road's loud. There's a jet flying over my head. But it's 8.40. I just went in to go open the door and start talking to somebody because I'm like 20 minutes early. And there she is. And nobody's here. Nobody's in the building. So I'm a little surprised by that. I'm kind of like scared that they forgot that we were coming. So I don't know. Kind of weird. A little bit worried but i'm gonna unload the uh, trunk right now because we got some baseball stuff back there and then yeah we'll check back in see how this goes <laughs> oh hey so these are the weather floor mats this is that charger and they have first aid kit so we're gonna like just sell these online on like ebay same with this no reason to give it to Carvana because they're not going to pay extra for it. So, little hack. Empty car. So sad. Mm -hmm. Love you, car. Guess that's it super sad we're gonna try to go find a cute little cafe or something to go have breakfast at i've not had my coffee yet so i'm excited to do that all right y'all it's like almost 8 50. we've got no call from anybody so i expected a call and i don't have any motion or movement inside the building so kind of a little worried i'm gonna call him right now Wish me success. Keep shining the light in my face from your phone. Great. Fantastic. Okay, what's this? There's a Jeep. This wasn't here before. So somebody's here. All right, so this is good news. Somebody is pulling in, so maybe that's our guy. He looks like he's got a blue shirt on, like maybe he works for Carvana. So hoping that's our dude. All right, here we go. Hopefully it goes smooth. Keep you guys updated. Let you know how this goes. Okay, so not gonna lie, kind of weird. The guy, maybe that's not the guy that we're gonna deal with because there's some other people driving in right now too, but he definitely had the Carvana shirt on. Uh, we were out in the parking lot sitting by the car and he basically just walked right by us, opened up the building, didn't come over and say, hey, or like, hey, I'll be with you in a minute or nothing. Just kind of weird, so. Weird, rude. <laughs> Not impressed so weird. far. Another word for rude. must enter a coin here some sort of magical coin and you get a car so cool Quick update, I'm actually back to impress now. So the associate opened the door, uh, met us, asked for our names. You know, we told them we're here for the leaf, nine o'clock appointment. They had all the paperwork set out on the table, ready to go. Uh, basically, I got to sign the paperwork to turn the car over so that they can register it and pay off the loan and all that. Then they already had the check amount already written. So the check is already printed out and ready to go. So I gave him my keys and then he's gonna go out and take a couple pictures of the car, do a walk around, uh, make sure the vehicle's operational, all that good stuff. And it looks like it's pretty much a done deal and like easy peasy. So keep you posted. So, easy experience. Very good, like I'm actually kind of surprised they uh, had all this stuff ready to go. Check, it out. This is like way too easy. Right? They just like walked out, took some pictures, verified the odometer, walked around the vehicle. I don't even know, did he start and drive it? I didn't No. Yeah, so, I mean, apparently we got it here, so it looks drivable, it's brand new, so. <laughs> yeah, this is almost like too easy, it's weird. All right, we 
did it. Sold the car. Okay, not gonna lie. Kind of back to impress. That was uh, that was easier. Like I probably sold how many cars have we sold before? A lot. I've sold a ton of cars over my lifetime, and that was by far the easiest transaction. There's the check. It was already cut out, ready to go. He looked at the car, and that was it. It was done. So super quick. I would highly recommend Carvana if you're looking to sell a wholesaler your car for overpriced. <laughs> we can get by with one vehicle for a little while. Our whole motivation is to try and eliminate debt right now because we're going into a recession. I don't want to be plagued with a bunch of debt. Now we got like $11,000 to go towards our next car and we're probably going to buy another car in like three months time somewhere in there. So we're hoping that the wholesale market in cars are already going down. The foreclosures are doubling. So foreclosures on used cars are going through the roof. So why Carvana and, and CarMax and these other companies are still buying cars at this price is kind of crazy. I feel like we're timing it just right. For all of the negative things about Carvana, I will say selling them a car is super easy. I've never bought a car from them, but selling it was amazing. No joke, five seconds ago, we just uh, sold our car to Carvana. I go onto YouTube because we got a bunch of comments from you guys that we wanted to answer and we try to answer every single one uh, within a day or two. No joke, in my list of videos uh, to watch, and I took a, a screen capture of it, it said Carvana, Carvana meltdown will break the used car market, something to that effect. So again, I am blown away that they're overpaying, in my opinion, like $4,000 for that car, maybe $5,000. The wholesalers are still out gathering up these cars, but their inventory is gonna go through the roof. Like nobody can afford a car right now because the loans, interest rates are nuts, right? So unless you're a cash buyer, not a lot of cash buyers have 40, 50 grand to throw down cash on a car. So yeah, I don't know. These guys are still purchasing. If you're in that position and you're upside down in a car or you're in a good spot, like we were in a good place with our car, we weren't upside down in it, but we just didn't want the loan going into a recession. So, you know, it's a unique, unique time right now. So anyways, if you have any questions for us, let us know. Tempe Lakes, nobody's out there right now. I'd be out there on a paddleboard. So they shared this stadium, this football stadium, the Cardinals did for like ever years. With ASU? Yeah, with ASU. Kind of cool because it's built into the mountain, kind of. So see how it's tucked in between these two mountains? Oh, yeah. And these two hills? They're not mountains, guys. We're in the desert. Ah! Uh, we got 41 minutes. Do you want to put another one in? Okay. Uh, I'll just keep it in case. 41 minutes to eat? Okay, let's do one more for like 52 minutes. Look at what's on that window. The what? Look what's on that window. It's a sign. Check. Literally. <laughs> so this place has gluten-free stuff, so I'm pretty excited. Wait, I wanna look at this, look at. All right, quick update. It's been probably like, what, an hour since I called Carvana and hit one for a call back. So they never did call me back. I just checked my messages, no messages. So I guess that's one bad thing that they never called back and it's been like an hour. So good thing we didn't need them. Rookie mistake. This is our aftermath of food. <laughs> Josh had Switching chicken and waffles. Oh. That's our uh, parking. Oh, parking's shoot. expiring Our soon. Parking expired. We forgot to show what we got. It was super, super good though. And this guy is the coolest waiter ever because he brought me a free cookie because they accidentally put cheese on my food. So I had to make it again. So cool. Are you ready to go? I'm so full. I might need a nap. That you doing fine cause you got me I don't wanna break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see in your eyes Your head is full of dreams Tears are a proof of failure You just gotta let them flow Okay, so we didn't get to do much at Tempe Lakes, but we definitely saw it for the first time and now we know what we want to do because that's really, really cool. Right. One thing to share that a lot of people don't know is that your local bank 
doesn't hold a lot of cash on hand. So when you sell a car or have a big purchase, I'm gonna ask them, I'm not gonna cash it out, but I'm gonna deposit the check and then ask them like, can I take the cash out just to see what they say? And I guarantee they'll say no, because they don't have it on hand. So they need like a 24 hour notice. But a lot of people don't know that about banks that so they don't have your money. Like they, they go and loan it out eight, nine, 10 more times. And so they don't have cash in the vault to give you. So just one thing to keep in mind, if you need to make a purchase, plan ahead with your bank before you withdraw the cash, at least a day in advance. Okay, so just this morning, I was talking about how cool avoiding the gas lines was because the leaf, you know, we don't have to get gas in the leaf. Now that the leaf is sold, the old van needs to be filled up. We're just over a half a tank. So I went to Costco at 12 o'clock noon on a Friday. Apparently nobody works anymore. So here's the gas line. I don't know what is going on. It looks like a parking lot, but that is the gas line at Costco. It's crazy. All right, y'all, as I feared, the bank doesn't have money. So they said it's Friday today. The full amount, if ow, just shut my foot in the door. If we wanted to get the full amount out would be available Tuesday, but call ahead on Monday to make sure that they know that you want to withdraw that amount so they can make sure they have it at the branch. Local bank has no money. You can't do anything with a large amount. Apparently 10K is a very large amount for a bank these days. So crazy times we live in.